Praise the Lord, the Lord is good and his mercy is just forever. I want to answer this question. Are you saying that we should not, you know, be rich? We should not desire to have more money, more earnings, increased salary, promotion, you know, wherever the Lord has put us. That's very important. If it's where God has put you, the Lord loves when we have humble beginnings. Don't despise small beginnings, humble beginnings. But the Lord also is the one that adds to us, you know, gradually. And if he chooses, he can bless us bountifully, suddenly. But whatever the Lord does is for his purpose. That is very sure. The Lord wants us to prosper and be in good health, even as our soul prosper. Our soul now is what's inside us that you can't see. Our mind is our mind really. You can see the body of one another to an extent, you know, but we can't see our mind. Is our mind lightened, enlightened, or darkened as those? minds of dark luciferians so you can't see mind mind is what is inside this you know vessel of mind and it has to be a spiritual mind according to romans 12 1 to 2 our mind has to be the mind of the spirit renew your mind through his spirit through his word through his counsel <clears throat> yes so we need to know that as we prosper in our mind, God wants us to prosper in health and also to prosper in blessings that we can touch that people call things. I wish above all truth that you prosper and be in good health even as your soul prospers. So there's priority in all that God does. It's when you are chasing after money without even thinking of renewing your mind with God's word according to the begging of faithful apostle Paul. In Romans 21 to 2, I beg you, I beseech you, I plead with you, brethren, by the mercies of God to present your bodies holy and acceptable unto God. That is your worship. That's your reasonable service. You know, before we even go out and be in a gathering of other brethren, worshipping God, your mind should be in a state of worship, in a state of serving God by doing it right. Your body too will follow by being presentable unto God, not unto your sexual pharisaic creatures who want your breast out, all this thing out, and they pretend as if they don't know as they join you as man and wife or man and woman. <laughs> Let us go back to the word of God. The word of God is the word that will transform us the right way so that we can truly, truly be headed for heaven. Unless you want to be among those that we hear in Matthew 7, 20, 23. Get away from me. I never knew you. You want to hear just because you didn't follow priority. So when I want to answer that question is that yes, God wants us to prosper. To do it God's way. In fact, the Lord can make it happen that we'll be rich like that man in the parable that had bountiful harvest more than his expectation. And what was wrong with that man in the parable of the rich fool? We don't want to be foolish or fools. We want to be wise by making sure we are following protocol, priority of heaven. Dedicated to God, our mind is renewed with God's word. Our body is presentable unto God, not just unto ourselves. And increasingly getting better. Anyway, the Lord is faithful and his mercy is just forever. So, he wants us to also increase and abound, even as the spiritual aspect of our lives abound. That's what third John verse 2 is about. You know, the prayer of the apostle. So, but if the Lord not increase your farm produce, 
Because riches is not just money. Uh, increase you or somebody just blessed you that, ah, my father got this contract. He gave me one million. And out of that million, Sister Gina, I just want to bless you with 100,000 pounds because he gave me such advice not to disobey your father and to just be with him. If not, I want to have found his favor. He wants to have blessed me with this money, perhaps. Let's say a good story went like that. And now I have 100,000 pounds. Oh, Father. That will be a blessing. But what the Lord has in stock for this man is more than 100,000 pounds. I may, as the Lord guides me, be allowed to talk more on some topics that people don't talk about. In studying God's word, there's some more aspects of God's word that I've come to know about that. You know, as our mother says to children in the past, when you have dreams, things that are beyond your physical happenings, encounters, they say, keep quiet, keep quiet, keep quiet. Don't tell anybody about it. Don't let them, you know, start looking at you strange. But then, <laughs> there are some people who are having their nightmare. They are different from those who are having their heavenly dreams. Perhaps the other reason why they are saying, keep quiet, is like, they don't want you to be like Joseph who had his heavenly dreams and incurred the jealousy of those who couldn't dream. Dan wanted to get rid of Joseph and he tried his best, but for God's grace. So today, to stay to this point, we are supposed to be blessed, mother. So yes, more increments at work, if I was working, you trade, you get money. Yes, God wants us to prosper. But when it begins to be that your prosperity is just number four, you forget your heart, your mind, your body, you just want the money. There's danger. That's where I can see that those selling you money will pursue you is an occultic language. Is a demon will be following you in the realm of spirit with money. Money that you are not even free to spend to those you love because those you love are the ones you even sacrifice to get that money. And those who come near to you, seeing that you are rich, you just want part of it, are the ones you should target to sacrifice next. So they just waste the money in the so called party, party, party. God wants us to prosper. That's what uh, the scripture says in the third book of John. This is not the epistle of John. This is the third book before the book of Jude and Revelation. Verse 2 says, Dear friends, I pray that you may enjoy good health and that all may go well with you, even as your soul is getting along well. So you must put in priority so that money... This advent of money, this last day, bait upon the minds of our youth to think money, 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 I must be rich, I must be rich. People are not even saying I must be holy. I must make heaven. What they are saying, I must be rich, I must be rich. So riches now becomes what? The standard. No. If you look at what the Lord of glory, the one who will allow you into heaven, by his angels, or by his word, by his spirit, because he is the way and the life. He is the way, the truth, and the life by John 14, 6 standard. That same Lord Yeshua, Jesus Christ, says in the book of Luke chapter 6, verse 24, says, Luke chapter 6, verse 24, Woe to you who are rich, for you have already received your comfort. This is talking about those who have no care for where their soul will. And their S-O-L-E, whether mind is inside the soul or whatever, heart or whatever, want to classify it. They don't 
care. They just want to be rich at all costs. They sold their whatever is inside them. Even some had their minds darkened. Whatever darkened mind, they see how they see sold it to Satan to be rich. So those ones are the ones that are just rich. They are not connected to heaven by the Holy Spirit. They don't have anything to do with the soul body of Judah. They are not connected to, you know, the word of God, Yeshua, in any shape, form, or fashion. Those ones are just rich. They just exist to be rich. They don't know God. God does not know them. They are the ones that are carrying the woe of Luke 6, 24. Woe to you who are rich, for you have already received your comfort. These are the kind of pronouncements that this foolish Pharisee, you know, initiated by TB Joshua, Selman, is using to make our youth begin to think that if Selman sold out to Esau, he is preaching money, will pursue you, money will come after you. It's okay to think money. No. What you should think is in Matthew chapter 6. Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and heavenly righteousness. And every other blessing after God has blessed with your feeding, your clothing, your shelter, every other blessing shall be added unto you. This is why me, I'm not even ready to shout or, you know, debate or argue with anybody now. I'm just eating now. I'm eating my, you know, you know, I started eating before making this. I made myself some toast. And that's my cup of tea. Yes. If you have even just that for a day. When I begin to thank God, just make sure your own soul is prospering. You are studying God's word. Many people have put the word of God. They don't even know where the Bible is. Perhaps some, yet they want to be rich. And to have some who portray themselves as the John 844 Pharisee, children of devil they are, based on the pronouncements of the Lord Yeshua. And Matthew 23, teachers of the law. That God says, how shall you escape? Be sentenced to hell. In that Matthew 23, read it from beginning to the end. It's about the many mega Illuminati preachers that you are saying, Papa, Mama. As the way people are even referring to these ones as though they are the ultimate. Oh, this really is the pervert. And what less generation for which you say we should look to you, not around. So, if you are like that, um, soul, mind, body that is just busy, 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 want to be rich, whether your children are crying as a mother or there by two weeks, three weeks, ah, the child is with one nanny, you are there from one job to the other, you have missed your priority. There are many confused people. Many confused people. This is the Lord God Almighty that is saying in Luke 6 24. But what to you who are rich? For you have already received your comfort. Because we are supposed to be what? Blessed. When you have put everything in priority. Your body is presentable unto God. Your mind is being renewed by God's word. You will not be saying, ah, it's true. Money pursue me. Money pursue me. I'll never pray that prayer. Demonic prayer. Money should pursue you. What will be coming after me is goodness and mercy. God's goodness and mercy follows me all the days of my life. There's a youth now that they were sharing his thumbnail pictures, some things. They say he now regrets, he wishes he's broke. Than the lifestyle of trap he has been trapped into. You know, they say this Illuminati are still recruiting, and many of these recruits may be youths who just want to be rich, rich, rich. I want to be rich. 
This pastor is preaching riches with pursuers, with followers. I think it's a doctrine of heaven for a so called sermon to say money will pursue you. It is goodness and mercy shall follow us. Not even pursue, follow. Because if something is pursuing you, you gone, you are not at rest. You are hallelujah on your running mood. Let me go back to where I opened James chapter 5, verse 1 to 6. Wanting to reach oppressors, that's another group of people. They are rich, they are oppressed, because some of them are even just following other rich people doing that. But some other rich people have been told by their occult group, wherever, to oppress, because all this occultism is demonic, it's luciferic, it's satanic, it's devilish. Now listen, you rich people, weep and wail because of the mystery that is coming on you. Your wealth has rotted. And must as eating your clothes. Your gold and silver are corroded. Their corrosion will testify against you. And eat your flesh like, fl like fire. You have hoarded wealth in the last days. Give, 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 give. Look, the wages you failed to pay the workers who mold your fields are crying out against you. Some people work for you, get man, cleaner, cook. They are not paying them. They deliberately use their money to do business so that I can get interest before you pay them. You are a rich oppressor and woe is upon you if you don't repent. It's best to do your restitution and give those workers even additional money. Asking them for forgiveness for their to hold their own pay or for holding back their wages because whether you read this verse of the scriptures or not the truth of God's word will come to pass against such wicked oppressors James chapter 5 verse 4 again look the wages you failed to pay the workers who mold your fields are crying out against you. All this one, ASU strike, this strike, university strike, they are not paying, Nigeria are not paying, some people are not paying. Well, I want to, uh, you know, some other greedy, you know, ones coming. One, those who should pay the normal righteous people working and misbehaving. Now they say it's those ones, the, you know, Kidnappers are targeting the rich ones, the rich oppressors. The cries of the harvesters have reached the ears of the Lord Almighty. Anybody living right? They say it doesn't matter this advert from the pit of hell. God does not this. The gods of people are referring to are their own God, though. We see fairy God or smudgy. Second Corinthians 4, 4. Our God hears the cry of those who truly in their hearts have made up their mind to live a clean, holy life. The cries of the investors have reached the ears of the Lord Almighty. You have lived on earth in luxury and self-indulgence. Instead of them to spread the riches, were it truly from heaven? When it reaches, it's not for heaven. That's when it becomes that kind of riches that has woe. If it's from heaven, you will know that heaven is looking at you. Somebody come and beg you for the last five pounds. Say, ah, I'll give the last five pounds. Okay, I'm even glad to have it. Go with it. And go to God. God, I'll give you the last five pounds. I trust you. That will be done in my life. Amen. And go on with your life. <clears throat> You have lived on earth in luxury and self-indulgence. See them on YouTube eating a pot of almost like somebody else's pot of stew at once, saying they are doing 
this uh, competition that I don't even want to learn the name. That's um, almost a different name to pranking. They will be eating and feasting and showing all the delicacies they are eating. When some of your people, your race people, are in villages and in places, they are hungry. It's good for you to keep giving out. Even these um, stores, you know, once in a while, you can go with some items. Maybe somebody bless you with a, a pack of um, these uh, spaghetti. I know it's only me in the house, mainly. Ah, I can't finish this thing. I don't want you to be there and go out of date before I now see it. Can take six of it and go and put it in the collection for food. Then I give the homeless people or whoever they want to give. You know, instead of the food wasting. You have fatted yourself in a day of slaughter. You have condemned and murdered the innocent ones. Who was not opposing you? There are some, they want to go and get the land and the house of a man who God has blessed to, and subcultures who have loopholes of their tradition open to such. They will not kill the man, send the widow and the children out. What a conny conny way of getting somebody's riches. The Lord will do with such. God will use James 1, another verse to do with such. James 1 27. You don't oppress the widow or the orphans. Whether you, you know they are a widow or orphan, you don't oppress them. You know? I am an orphan now. If I had my father, Reuben, and my mother, Christiana, still alive, I know my life would be much better than this. I'll be in Christ. I'll be back maybe somewhere at home with them or if they are here I know that I will have had much opportunity open for me. Do you know what it is to be an orphan? The two souls that love you so much are taken. Do you know that feeling of being an orphan? Then you want to come and praise that person and think God will not hear. So yes, you can desire to be blessed. Let all your life, spirit, soul, body, body, flesh, as in this timeline, not because you want to open your flesh to carnality, even this timeline, to be pleasing to God, but not at the expense of your soul. Not at the expense of your mind being renewed. Not at the expense of your eternal salvation. So yes, somebody blesses me with money now. In fact, if the Lord said don't collect it or just give all the money, don't take out of it to that other family. And I'll just put the money inside. Fine. We need to be listening to God. Yes, we need to be listening to God. Like initially, I was so happy, you know, when my friend blessed me before the marriage of my daughter. I didn't expect it. She was the one that said, give me your bank details. I want to send something to your daughter. But being my only one friend that we hardly even speak sometimes, there's a long gap before we speak out. She is the one that held on to me. I had two friends like that. One just went away like Opa. One stood and seemed like Ruth. I won't let you go. She's the one I kept saying, I know. What's her first name? Oh, I forgot. Esther Safaro. She's also a nurse. She had an encounter with the Lord. She's changed, but your own is too much. Anyway, when my, that my friend gave me the tournament before wedding, I realized that every other person that blessed me afterwards, as much as I could, I was to reach out to them, thank them, and then bless them back. 
so that God can have a financy. Yes. In my life. Anyway, I want to run this up by saying you can desire to increase, to prosper, to have more money, to do more good, to more people around you that are even poorer than you. We are the poor of the earth, according to James 2 5, whom the Lord has prepared his kingdom for. The Lord did not prepare his kingdom for this one that I say money will pursue you. And you are rich. So what to you? Money pursue you. I can money, mammon, money, started by the Gentiles, pursue you. Where angel goodness and mercy should just follow you. One is pursuing you, one is following you. So are you walking or are you running? You determine. God bless you for listening. Shalom.